สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a and it's Friday, October 18th. Today marks the release of the latest edition of the Phuket News newspaper, our English language newspaper, as well as our Thai language sister paper, Gao Phuket. Grab your copy at locations across the island. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. A 28-year-old Thai man is now in custody at b a s h i r a Phuket Hospital under guard after he was shot in the leg. During a violent confrontation at a home in Katu on Thursday evening, in which he was wielding a knife and charging at police, police were called to the scene at about 10 p.m. by a concerned neighbor. Reports say that the suspect, 28-year-old Narupan Sosapan, was in a delirious state, wielding a knife, attempting to harm police when they arrived. Witnesses say that before police arrived, he was already threatening to cause harm to those inside the house in the Mu One area of Katu. When police arrived, Narupan was refusing to cooperate. He brandished a knife and resisted police, according to reports. At around midnight, reports say that police tased the man in order to subdue him. However, despite this, he remained uncontrollable and attempted to charge police once again. That's when one officer shot him in the leg to prevent further danger. He was taken to Vashira Phuket Hospital for treatment, though he was arrested and remains under police custody at the hospital. Further investigation revealed that Narupan had a violent history. In 2015, he had been convicted for assaulting his grandmother, leading to her death. He was released from prison just two months ago, according to his mother. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. It's a nightmare for anyone who's been on the back of a motorbike, as a man fell from the bike after experiencing an epileptic seizure in Patong. It all took place at about 10 a.m. this morning in Patong, in the p r a c h a n u k r o Road area. Patong police responded to the scene and found the man on the ground. Initial reports indicate that the passenger's seizure led to the fall. Rescue workers from Kusodon Foundation arrived, and the individual was quickly transported to Patong Hospital for further medical care. No further information on the passenger's condition has been released at this time. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. The victims and survivors of the fatal landslide that took place in southern Phuket on August 23rd, which killed 13 people, the governor says that the central government is soon to give them compensation. Phuket Governor Sopon s u w a n a r a t on Tuesday said that those afflicted by the landslide had already received disaster relief support directly from Karon Municipality. However, compensation will also be paid by the central government in Bangkok to the tune of about 9,000 baht per person. Paid directly into the claimant's bank accounts. So far, none of those affected by the August 23 landslide have received any compensation from the central government. k u r a n Municipality this week did reveal the amount of compensation that they have paid, which including funeral expenses, repair costs for damaged houses, and much, much more, amounts to just over 6.59 million baht. Though what each claimant received depends on a number of factors. The August 23 landslide took place in the Kata area, following heavy overnight rains, with mud and earth sliding down from the n a k e r d Hills toward the residential area. 13 people died in the landslide, with scores of others sent to the hospital and 50 homes heavily damaged. Although more than 200 homes were affected, in the ensuing investigation, officials laid the blame on the illegal expansion of the Big Buddha complex at the top of the hill as a major factor in causing the landslide. The foundation that operates the complex, along with the foundation's president, now face charges of illegal construction and encroachment on state land. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. After jumping a train in order to escape from police custody, authorities finally tracked down. And arrested the suspect right here in Phuket after he spent two weeks on the run. Police identified the man only as Ekachai, whom they say was arrested on October 3rd over a string of robberies in Hat Yai, though it's unclear where he was originally arrested. Region 9 police say that they transported the man to Punpin Police Station in Suratani Province, but en route, Ekachai asked to use the restroom. 
That's when he jumped from the moving train while traversing Nakonsi Tamara province and he escaped. Police say that soon after that, Ekachai contacted his girlfriend to pick him up, but he later stole her car and fled to a different part of Suratani. The girlfriend then filed a complaint with local police there, who issued a sixth warrant for his arrest. In their investigation, police tracked down Ekachai to a condo right here in Phuket. This week, police from the CSD Division 5 branch moved in and arrested the man at the condo in Katu. He's now been taken to Suratani province for legal proceedings. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Thanks so much for joining us here today on Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. Have a great weekend out there, and we'll see you back here next week. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.